Ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to take this to your nearest bank. George Natembea is going to kick Muslim Davadi and Moses Masika Wetangula out of lawyer politics. It might not be in 2027, but by 2032, he shall have succeeded in that mission. And I want to explain to you guys why he is going to succeed. Yesterday, George Natembea was on Spice FM. And George Natembea made some serious allegation, which to me is correct. That if William Ruto were to wake up today and decide to send Musalem Davadi home, no lawyer will shed a tear. Listen in to Natembea. Which lawyer made, made Mudavadi the Prime Cabinet Secretary? What did the lawyer do to make him a Prime Cabinet Secretary? Would it have made a difference if you could see that there was a significant unification or rallying together mm. that then brought him that position big difference will be mm. taken more seriously by by even the president himself okay uh, you'll say i want roads in the vegan if you're not given Would you, you, you say, say I'm, I'm walking away and you'll walk away with the 400 mps but today he's there alone mm. today the governor for mudavad is an odm governor mm. but Jello. the senator is also mm. is odm as me or got more votes than kenya kwanza in in the vega mm. the position that mudavada holds in government is what we call tokenism you can be fired today and no lawyer will cry mm. and that, nothing will happen mm. uh where tangula came with this funny explanation that uh, he delivered bungoma mm. uh to the to the president that 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 that, uh, that bungoma has always voted for Raila, but this time around about two hundred thousand people voted for for so the president. Job. So he used to those 200,000 votes to bargain for himself. Mm. Yeah, but he knows just and carried the lawyer community there. The other people go together. Today, if Kalonzo coughs, the entire company nation will get a call. Isn't it? Mm. Mm. The same with the Rela. Well, what about lawyers? In fact, I can confidence state today that if the president wants to, to talk to the lawyer nation, he'll go through Rela because Rela has got 20 members of parliament in the western mm. uh, nc has five what kenya has five dap has five out of over 40. so the dominant political figure there is odm mm. we want to change all this uh, that as a community we are capable of going to that table ourselves we go there as a community not an individuals using the name of the community to go there and yet they have got they have got nothing to show many have for, tried for those positions many have tried George. yes many have tried you mm. know you, we we have had the conversation about lawyer unity mm. has been there for decades mm. right mm. they haven't succeeded mm. why do you think they have not succeeded and that's why me i'm not even talking about lawyer unity myself uh, not the unit of the leadership because leadership get united for their own selfish mm. interests we want to do what, what's called transformational leadership not just getting positions for the sake of those positions what are we doing with those positions to transform the lives of our people eric for instance mm. there is a sub county in transway called sabot sabot is to be represented in parliament by michael omalo kijana wakati was here sambaya my shambaya up to now sabot doesn't have even a single kilometer of tarmac as we speak now Bwe? zero <laughs> not tarmac there uh, and, and and then the leaders have somehow you know, when you tell people that the government hates us and you know there's nowhere we can go as a leadership, what are you trying to to, to say? And these people also pay pay pay, pay, pay taxes. Mm. We are saying it's no longer about Natembea or about Mudabad or about Wetangula. First of all, let the person also understand that the life they're leading, they deserve better. Mm. How do they get this life? Politics not just also about controversy about people think that no when, when you talk too much they say what just yes. People have tended to look at politics very negatively. But politics is about allocation of resources and sharing of resources. Is there anything in that clip that you can disagree with George Natembea? George Natembea is stating facts as they are. In this video, I want to do two things. I want to give you two reasons why George Natembea will definitely kick Muslim Ravadi and Moses Masika Wetangula out of lawyer politics by 2032. And secondly, I also want to explain to you guys why no lawyer will shed a tear should Muslim Davadi be kicked out by William Samoy Arapruto. But before you do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where 
it is ladies and gentlemen without any further ado allow me to dive in but before i dive in i also allow me to take this opportunity to thank the following people you are seeing their names on the screen there for the coffee which they sent to me earlier today you can also do the same using the numbers you are seeing on your screen ladies and gentlemen why do i strongly believe that George Natembea will successfully kick Moses Masika Wetangula and Musalia Mudavadi out of their politics. I don't want you guys to misquote me. I've always maintained that there is no way George Natembea can sustain his activities against Wetangula and Mudavadi without the support of the system. The system is fully behind his activities. But at the end of the day, George Natembea is going to succeed in his mission of kicking Wetangula and Mudavadi out of lawyer politics because of two main reasons. Number one, messaging. The way George Natembea is delivering his messaging resonates so well with the ordinary people. You can't compare the way Natembea is packaging his messaging to those of Musalia Mudavadi or those of Moses Maseka Wetangula. You can't. Number two, there's also the prospect of 2032. By 2032, how old will be Moses Masika Wetangula? How old will be Musalia Mudavadi? Which means Natembea will be still at the right age. So because of that, the Luya nation will rally behind him. And of course, the other reason why he will kick them out is because of failures of Moses Wetangula and Musalia Mudavadi to chat or to guide the Luya nation in the right direction. I don't want to get into more of those. I want us to focus more on why no lawyer can actually shed a tear if William Ruto were to decide today to kick Musalia Mdavadi or even Moses Wetangula out of their offices. The first reason why no lawyer will shed a tear is because of failure. I want to specifically deal with Musalia Mdavadi. It's failure of Musalia Mdavadi to unite the Luya nation. Let me ask you this question. You see, Musalim Ravadi was in Nasa. He was with in Azimio with Raila and Weta. Then, of course, he decided to join William Ruto. You can say that there were those who were supporting him but felt disappointed by the move and remained with or in Azimio for that matter. Then the moment William Ruto took over, and the moment Musalim Davadi was appointed as the prime cabinet secretary. Do you think Musalim Davadi has bothered to even convene a meeting with lawyer elected leaders? Do you think he has done that? Because if I were Musalim Davadi, the truth is ODM has the majority members of parliament from the lawyer nation. But after getting elected, the first thing Musalim Davadi ought to have done was one. Lawyer unity. That's how you take leadership. Focus on the lawyer unity. Bring all the lawyers together, especially the elected leaders, and work with them. Convene a meeting. Say, okay, uh, I've been uh, lucky now. I'm the prime cabinet secretary. I know you are elected in ODM. I know you are elected on DAP Kenya. I know you are elected on this particular party. But I want us as a community to move forward. In fact, I'm seeing Moses Watangula trying to do that. That is something that Muslim Ravadi ought to have done just immediately he was elected. I can assure you there are so many people who would now be leaning, so many MPs who will now be leaning towards Musalia Mdavadi. He has failed in that aspect. Even in the Luya nation as we speak, Wetangula has more members of parliament supporting him than Mdavadi. So it's their failure. Number two, politics is normally a game of numbers, whether real or perceived. The truth of the matter is that if you take your calculator, and a pen and a paper and you start calculating you realize that azimio got more votes than weta than mudavadi combined in the lawyer nation that is the fact and because of that there is no way william ruto will treat them the way they want there is no way that is the fact and that's how politics is normally played so they need to understand that basic fact that they don't have the numbers and in a situation where they don't have the numbers because with numbers you can be respected just like i keep on telling uh, some of my friends who are in new especially in nyanza 
that if William Ruto were to get an opportunity to work with Raila Odinga, he will not bother about them. Because we know with Raila Odinga he sorted. Just like Uru Kenyatta felt comfortable working with Raila Odinga because he knew with working with Raila Odinga he was sorted. So the truth of the matter is that Muslim Rabadi doesn't have the numbers and is also not working towards, a, towards gaining those numbers. You don't need to go back to election to win the numbers. You can create those numbers perceptionally by working very closely. Because remember, some of these ODM MPs were previously elected on ANC party, like for example in Kakamega. Why can't he just convene a meeting and start working with them? If he's going outside the country, why can't he just tag one today? The next time, tag another one. If he spends three days with them outside there, most of them will start working with him. He, he will then start commanding respect. And that's why people like Natambea don't have slightest respect for them. Number three is the obsession with serving William Roto at the expense of the community. You know, the moment Muslim Dravadi was sworn in as the Prime Cabinet Secretary, he ought to have realized at that particular moment in time that he now had a platform. And that platform was enough for him to serve the interest of the Lua Nation. Not only in terms of appointment, but also in terms of the basic things that the Lua Nation need. The, the needs of the Lua Nation very very few. Sort of the sugar mess in the region. When was the last time you had a Muslim Ravadi pushing because he need to be seen to be pushing <laughs> for for the revival of those factories. When was the last time? Zero. So he's not seen to be serving the interests of the community, and because of that, nobody, nobody. I mean, nobody. And lastly, Muslim Rebadi has also failed to connect with the ground. There is no way you can succeed at the national level without sorting the small matters down here. If you go to the Luya Nation today, if you go to the Luya Nation today, can you comfortably say that Muslim Ravadi is the voice on the ground? No, you can't. The other day I was talking to someone and he was telling me that, you know, Lee, I was in uh, Vihiga and Mudavadi's convoy was passing there and people were unbothered. Why do you think people are unbothered? Why? Because he has failed to connect with the ordinary people. I want to give you a typical example of William Bruto. When William Bruto was the deputy president, he used to connect so well with the masses. He would go to a place people would feel him. Muslim Reverend don't doesn't need to go national at this stage. He just need to be felt. He just need to connect with the ordinary down there. I'm not so sure the last time Muslim Ravadi attended a funeral in the Luyan nation. Not high profile funerals, but just in his village. You know, Mutame Ali Kofa Uko, Amanda Tukama Muslim Ravadi. I don't know. But he needs to reconnect if he needs to be respected. And because of those failures, there is no way, there is no way I can tell you, Luyan nation will feel the absence of Muslim Dabadi because they are not even feeling his presence. I don't know what to think. That's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.